art may be in the eye of the beholder, but sometimes it hits you squarely in the wallet. We're talking about the new city logo for Clearwater. Now, you paid for it. That's why Mark is on tonight. So you have to ask, <laughs> how much did it cost for this new city logo? We're going to give it away right up front, Keith. It cost Clearwater taxpayers just a smidge over $200,000 for this grand. new logo. Mm -hmm. Sound like a lot of money to you? Well, Clearwater's mayor insists it's a real bargain and it's long overdue. Take a look and decide for yourself. How do we market Clearwater in the 21st century? Okay, folks, here it is, the city's answer to that question. Clearwater's new logo did not come cheaply. Image consultants charged $100,000 to vision and create it. A marketing company charged $50,000 for branding implementation. Add in $17,000 to update the city monument and thousands more for decals on trucks, dumpsters, pens, coasters, or whatever. And the cost you paid adds up to just over $200,000. In your heart of hearts, you believe this was a good investment of taxpayers' money. I think that over a 20-year period of time to reinvent yourself, to come up with the new logo was a good investment. The old logo was kind of obvious. The new one is more abstract. The artwork implies that we have blue skies, we have blue waters, but we also have a trail system and a park system that is inviting to people. Sorry, Mayor, we see green, a lot of it. So we ask taxpayers what they see. It's bright and beautiful. Is it worth $200,000? Oh, gosh, probably not. <laughs> no. Good looking logo? Yes. Is it worth $200,000? No. <laughs> no. So what, what do you see on that? Oh, gin and tonic. <laughs> you need one, right, yes. after hearing the price? <laughs> By comparison, Dunedin spent $76,000 on its new logo. Largo is developing one on its own, in-house, at no extra cost. But Clearwater didn't take that route. They could try harder with that much money. They can get somebody to do something better. Or this one either. Why don't they have a competition? They would have wonderful results. Clearwater's 21st century odyssey led somewhere else. I know that there were consultants hired, and this is what happens in the government. Now, the mayor says if you spread out the $200,000 over 20 years, that works out to just about $10,000 a year for this new look, which is well worth the cost, in his opinion, as opposed to the old look, which people around here are saying looks kind of outdated. And there's the new look. Well, the colors are dated. You got to spruce it up. I mean, all products get rebranded from time to time. I mean, it's a good looking logo, but I guess you can question maybe the price. But why this uh, sudden urge to, to kind of recreate Well, the, the city logo? is going through this thing. Clearwater wants to reinvent itself. In fact, to that end, it's paid $400,000 to other consultants for an imagining uh, exercise, uh, which could cost $50 million in the end. But that's another story. We'll get to that. So stay tuned. It's never cheap, is it? <laughs> no, it is Have a competition. <laughs> no. We should be consultants. <laughs> Thanks, Mark.